is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we're in another one this is the 2019 volkswagen passat courtesy of faulkner volkswagen in mechanicsburg pa and so i have reviewed this one for the past couple years and there actually are some changes for the 2019 passat so i will be going over all of them along with everything else and as always let's start with pricing and actually before i even touch on pricing i wanted to mention a couple things here firstly being volkswagen's people first warranty being six years 72,000 mile bumper to bumper which is the very best warranty as far as bumper to bumper goes in the u.s right now and although the 2020 passat redesign is right around the corner the 2019 still has a good bit to offer so let's get started and so the trim levels for 2019 have been simplified to simply two of them first one being the wolfsburg that is the one we are in today starting at twenty five thousand two hundred ninety five dollars then there is the ser line starting at twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars so making it easy on everybody and then regardless of which trim level that you go with the power plan on the passat will be the same powering this one is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 174 horsepower 5000 rpm and 185 four pound feet of torque available at 1500 rpm power is sent to the front wheels through a six speed automatic and mpg numbers are going to come in at approximately 25 in the city 36 on the highway which is actually quite impressive considering the size of the passat and when you actually then get to the pump you'll be happy to know that the passat does take regular unleaded fuel saving a little bit of money there as well but so since i mentioned there is only one engine setup somebody is going to ask it so i'm going to emphasize it there is no v6 option for the 2019 passat what's so it then before we do any kind of acceleration there is one driving mode being the sport mode on the passat so to find that driving mode simply put the shifter all the way to the back and when you do that you will notice that the passat immediately downshifts for you holding the rpms at a higher level giving you more power on demand and it will also adjust the throttle response as well but having said that i think it is time you guys know what we have to do next let's do a quick little acceleration here and let's see how quickly we can get this turbocharged four cylinder here up to speed Dang, actually pulls pretty hard. Kind of surprised me with it not even having 200 horsepower, but this thing's not that bad. Definitely quite a bit of pickup. Pleasantly surprised there. But to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. Up front on the Passat, you will find 12.3 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.7 inch solid rear discs. As far as the braking feel goes, yep definitely no issues with that then touching on suspension a little bit there will be a strut type front suspension multi-link rear suspension along with front and rear stabilizer bars and as far as the ride quality goes once again i am quite impressed so definitely no issues there passat is definitely soaking up pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely so far and as far as cabin noise goes again i don't have any complaints there either when it comes to steering sensitivity i suppose it is as expected definitely wouldn't mind a little bit heavier of a weight to the steering wheel but still it does feel nice for the passat when it it comes to visibility definitely on point there absolutely zero issues when it comes to visibility I actually kind of like the white perimeter around this rear view mirror as well that's kind of cool and I did want to also mention actually when it comes to visibility there is a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert that's what you're looking at in the side mirrors there but that's actually going to come standard for both trim levels and in addition to that if you went with the SER line you're also going to get rain sensing windshield wipers so that is definitely going to help with visibility when it starts raining as well although it's probably going to scare you when it first comes on I know it did for me me the first time I experienced that but they are definitely quite convenient but enough with the driving dynamics you guys let's now check out the exterior of this new 2019 Volkswagen Passat and so up front on the Wolfsburg trim level that we do have today you will find halogen headlights with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out those headlights will turn on automatically for you there However, if you went with the SER line trim level up front, you will find LED headlights, a little better illumination there, and they will actually come with LED daytime running lights as well. But then make your way to the side. There are power adjustable heated side mirrors for both trim levels, and that is also going to include integrated turn signals within them as well. Then looking down at the wheel setup, Wolfsburg is going to come standard with 17-inch 10-spoke alloy wheels. SER line is going to give you 19-inch double five-spoke wheels. And I did want to mention, since we have it today, there is a sun roof and wheel package for the Wolfsburg that we are currently in that adds an additional $1,000 but did want to mention it because that is actually the wheel setup that you were looking at right now but perhaps my favorite part about the exterior at least on the Wolfsburg is the Wolfsburg badging on the doors 
always have loved that that Volkswagen did that. It's just a unique little feature that Volkswagen does. So I'm definitely a fan there. But now let's make our way to the back. LED taillights will come standard on the SER line trim level only. And just below it all, a single exhaust outlet. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back, I do want to mention there is a button on the key fob to open that rear trunk. So if you like, just simply press that. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.9 cubic feet. For comparison's sake, the Camry comes in at 15.1, Accord comes in at 16.7, so kind of in the middle of the pack there. And if you did need some additional space, those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. But so then make your way up to the rear leg room. The Passat always shines when it comes to rear leg room. Let me tell you, 39.1 inches back there for reference i'm in even six feet tall this is how much space i had and for those rear passengers they will also find a rear center armrest with cup holders along with rear ventilation and two rear usb charging ports and that's going to actually come with both trim levels so those rear passengers can always stay connected with their smartphones in the back as well and so but now making your way to the front seats for both trim levels there is an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat surfaces are going to come finished in a vtex leatherette and those front seats will actually be heated as well taking a look forward there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel will come leather wrapped for both trim levels then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your volkswagen logo on the one side end when you flip it over lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch and in typical volkswagen fashion there is a switchblade key there as well but all in all you will find a push button start for both trim levels so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button it did what also mentioned there is a remote start that will come with the ser line trim level if you went that route but once started up tachometer is going to be on your left speedometers on your right there is a digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, giving you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty you do a digital speedometer when you need your next oil change tire pressure and a couple other things and then taking a look at overall interior quality dual zone climate control is going to come with the ser line trim level ser line is actually also going to add ambient lighting and auto dimming rear view mirror and a power sunroof as well however i will say we do have that power sunroof on the wolfsburg because it is optional once again with that sunroof and wheel package that i told you guys about and so but perhaps the most important part about the interior is going to be the tech display standard setup for both trim levels is going to be a 6.3 inch color touchscreen display giving you bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay for both trims meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the passat and you will get free navigation through your smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs up there as well but if you did want to go with the factory navigation system that is going to come with the ser line trim level and of course you can check out your radio settings up there as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system with the wolfsburg that we have today we will get six speakers however if you went with the ser line trim level you will get a fender premium audio system so you guys know what we have to do next let me find a spot to park let's turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one actually a good bit of bass kind of surprised there i never know what's coming on the radio i'm sorry you guys but not too bad of a sound system of course the fender is going to be a little bit better but i didn't have any issues with that one but so last thing on the tech display i wanted to mention at least is when you do put the passat in reverse you will find a rear view camera for both trim levels letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags in the back you will find latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also standard to tire pressure monitoring system and if you went with the ser line trim level you will also get adaptive cruise control a lane keeping system and forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking and so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay out <laughs>